guys and welcome back to my channel. So the other week I went to Lush Oxford Street because I was given a voucher last year for my birthday to have a spa treatment and I hadn't actually used it yet so I went last week to have it done finally and I did a blog post about it, links in the description box below. And whilst I was in Oxford Street I was like come on I cannot leave the store without buying some of the Oxford Street exclusive things. Like that would just be criminal to a Lush fan. So I did buy some things and I thought that I would do for you today a Lush Oxford Street haul. Now I think pretty much everything in this bag is an exclusive to Oxford Street. The only one I don't think is is a face mask but everything else I think is exclusive or you can get it online. I think some of the Oxford Street exclusives now you can buy online. If I can find them on the website I will link in the description box below as well. So I just thought I would do a haul because you guys seem to like my Lush hauls. I like filming them. Win win. So that's what I'm going to do for you all today. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I have to show you is the Rosy Cheeks Fresh Face Mask. Now for any of you who have been to Lush before, you probably already know this, but if you bring in five pots, you can get a face mask for free, which is great. So I had five pots, so I decided to get a new face mask and one that I actually haven't tried before. So this is one of their face masks, and this one is made with chamomile, and it's also made with rose, as the name would imply. Now this one, when you put it on, it's more like a soothing mask, so it's like a creamy formula and you apply it and it soothes redness and irritation because rose itself is quite a good anti-inflammatory product it's also very good at ph balancing and i've never actually tried this one before so i thought i'd give a new one a whirl i was going to get Oti fix but then i was like no i've never used this one before so i think i'll be a little bit more adventurous this one that i got here is the flowering tea bubble bar and this one uh, I've actually had before and I really like this one. I think this is probably one of my favourite Lush Oxford Street ones. So this is a bubble bar. So the idea of this is, is you dunk it in the water, it acts like a tea bag and it's made with jasmine, neroli and orange flower. And this is a very calming, very soothing smell. It's very fragrant and it just fills your bathroom with this luxurious spa-like scent. Now you could get more than one bath out of this. You could just dunk it in there for a minute and then get it out and then use the rest the next day. I mean, I have used this all in one go. If I was having a very bad day and I wanted a really luxurious bath, I would use this. But this one is honestly one of the best ones I've ever used and it's my all-time favourite. And it's also quite a moisturising one I, I find as well. Guardians of the Forest Bath Bomb. Oh yes. Oh my god. I've not actually had this one before, so I thought on this occasion I was going to get something that I've not had. And this one just looks so cool. I will show you now. Oh my god, this is so cute! So this is green and it's got this kind of leafy design on it and it's a bath bomb so you pop this into the water and it fizzes up into a visual spectacle with the lovely fragrances. Now this scent is quite similar to grass if you've had it, it's quite a fresh wheat grainy, almost petty grain kind of scent. So the way I would describe this is it's quite an earthy wet scent, so you know like when you go out and it's been raining and it's hit the earth and you get this really fragrant smell of the wet earth and the damp you know, the damp leaves and foliage. It smells like that. And I just really like this one. It's, I have to say I'm very excited to try it. It's also made with lime oil as well so it gives it that nice little kick, that freshness which I can actually detect in it. It's got a nice freshness to it but it's also got that wet earthy scent so I love this one. Gorgeous. Windmill Bubble Bar. Oh my god this one is so cute. I love this one. I had a panic attack for a minute, I thought it broke, I was like, no! But it's fine, it's all intact, it's all good. Lush, side note, can you make your labels larger print? Because it's really difficult to read them when you've got a visual impairment. Thank you. So the idea of this is again, you put it under the water and it makes bubbles. And this contains ginger, lime oil, and it also contains fair trade cocoa butter. This is a really kind of uplifting, sharp, fresh scent. I love this one and I just think it's so super cute and it's just so Instagram and I really like this one and I just think if you like quite uplifting fragrances you probably would like this one or if you just want to get something really 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 cute then you're definitely going to like this one but I'm going to feel so bad about using it, it's just too cute. I think that's the problem with Lush, they make their things so cute, so goddamn cute you don't want to use it because you just feel too bad about putting it in the bath and you're just like no, I don't want to use it Grass bubble bar. Oh my god, yes. Now, if you remember this last time I did my last Lush Oxford Street Lush haul, I 
absolutely love this one and I needed to go and get another one because it was just too good not to. And I'm having trouble opening this bag. Ah, there we go. So, I'm praying to God that the flowers haven't come off this because I'm going to be devastated. <laughs> the moment of truth. Yay! It's all intact! Whoop, whoop. It is a green bubble bar and it's got these little, little daisies in it. So this is the same scent as the Lush Grass Shower Gel, which I absolutely love, but they, devastatingly they stopped doing it and you can only get it occasionally on the Lush Kitchen, which I'm really sad about because it was my favourite scent. But they have got it in a bubble bar now, which I'm really happy about. So it's got sandalwood oil, bergamot oil and spring greens. It's got, it's got a little bit of a freshness to it, but the sandalwood does make it quite earthy. If you smell the Lush Grass Shower Gel, you will like this because it smells exactly the same as that. I think now most of the things I've got in here are bath melts. So the first bath melt I have to show you is the Flowers Barrow Bath Melt. Now this, if I can get it out, I think all these are wrapped up in a greasy paper so you're going to have to bear with me a minute while I unwrap these. Oh my god these are so oily. I'm going to have to show you these quickly and put them down because they're really oily. This is what this one looks like and it's got all these flower petals on it. So this is absolutely packed with ingredients. So it's got cocoa butter, it's got jojoba oil, it's got rose absolute, it's got geranium oil in it and it's also got blackcurrant oil. So this is a really fresh florally scent but it's also got a little bit of a fruitiness with the blackcurrant in it. And the bath melts from Lush are really super moisturising so if you get dry skin or you want to keep, maybe you've got, you have fake tan or you've got a tan from holiday and you want to keep it for longer, the bath melts are the best thing for that because they really do help your skin to feel moisturised. Happy Thoughts bath melt. I don't remember what this one looks like. Honestly, I was so intoxicated by the scents. I was like, I have that, I have that, I have that. Oh yes, so this is what it looks like. It's a little orange bath melt. So this one is made with orange oil and coconut and it's also got organic shea butter in there. So this is more like a really uplifting, fresh scent. And to me, it smells a little bit like sunny side. It's that kind of scent. So if you like really uplifting, citrusy kind of scents, you probably would like this one because it's that kind of thing. It's really good as a morning product. I'm really excited to try this because I really like the kind of the, the, the fresh scents from Lush and this one smells absolutely amazing. Organic Blossom Bath Melt. So this is made with Orange Flower Absolute, it's also got neroli in there and it's got cocoa butter and shea butter so it's very moisturising but then the neroli and the orange flower makes it really fresh, really florally and it's this lovely bouquet of a fresh aroma and I absolutely love orange flower, it's my favourite scent and I just think it's a really kind of fresh fragrant smell to have so I'm going to enjoy using this one. I think I probably will use this one first actually out of all of them. The last one now is Oil on Troubled Waters Bath Melt. Now I believe this one's blue if I can remember rightly. So let me open it and see if I'm right. Oh my god this one is so melty. Ah! Slimy! This is what this one looks like. It's more of a bluey, purpley kind of wave type colour. So this is made with things like peppermint. It's also got some mint in there. It's got bay. It's got oakwood in it. It's also got shea butter in it. And it's also got extra virgin olive oil. It's a strange one. I've never actually smelled anything like this from Lush before. It's quite a new one for me. But I'm really intrigued to try this one and uh, just see what it's like. And I just love the colour. I just think it's so pretty. So that concludes my Lush Oxford Street haul today, guys. I really hope you liked it. Do let me know in the comments if you've been to Lush Oxford Street or if you're going and what things you want to try or what things you've tried already. I'd really like to hear what you have to say. Also, don't forget to go and check out my blog post on the Lush Spa Street. My head, I will link it in the description box below. Thank you all so much for watching today. Have a lovely day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as well. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.